A Detroit City Council member is speaking out tonight about a staffer who was killed over the weekend. CW50's Chris Walker tells us how he's being remembered. A brilliant mind gone too soon. That's how 30 year old DeAndre Watson is being remembered by his District 1 team. For people who didn't really know him very well, he seemed very stoic, very quiet. Uh, once you know you peel back that layer, or once he allowed that layer to be peeled back, uh, you realize you have someone who's you know creative, smart, uh, funny, intelligent. Westland police say Watson was found dead in his car here at the Willow Creek Apartments early Sunday morning and what appears to be an apparent murder suicide. Westland police were dispatched to the scene on the 37,000 block of Willow Lane from an OnStar panic notification soon after Watson's body was discovered. A second man, Deontes Jones, was also found dead at a nearby apartment complex from an alleged self inflicted gunshot wound. Absolutely shocking. I, I would say the same thing. I wouldn't have ever thought that um, DeAndre would have uh, fallen a victim of uh, gun violence. And um, I had just talked to him on Friday, you know, and the last thing I talk, we, we talked to each other about, we said to each other, be safe. Watson worked in Detroit City Council member James Tate's office for eight years as a policy analyst, gaining the respect of his peers in city government. A great young man, a great leader. Um, we had, you know, limitless potential when we start talking about his contributions to uh, society. Uh, most folks, when they met him, almost immediately, you know, first thing that came to mind is this guy would be pretty good as an elected official, you know, or in some capacity that could help, you know, transform lives. Reporting in Westland, Chris Walker, CW15 News at 10.